When you're weaving overshot, I recommend working around the floating selvages a little bit differently than usual. Because usually with overshot, the first threaded thread on the right and the first threaded thread on the left are on the same shaft. And then the thread next to them is on the same shaft because usually overshot motifs are mirror images or or designs the whole warp is a mirror image that means that these two threads are interacting with the floating selvage in the same way and if you go into the shed above the floating selvage and so pair it up with the outside thread on one side but come out under the floating selvage on the far side that's going to separate the floating selvage from that last threaded end so the two selvages will look different but if you go under and come out under and go in over and come out over so instead of making a figure eight you're making a big oval then the floating selvage and the threaded ends next to them will either work together or be separated the same way on both sides. If they're separated on one side, they'll be separated on the other. If they work together on one side, they'll work together on the other. And that usually makes a more attractive, more balanced design. Furthermore, you want to look and see whether the floating selvage, you want to separate the floating selvage from the threaded end next to it. Because when you are weaving plain weave, the interlacement is over one, under one, over one, under one, over one, under one. And floating selvages automatically weave plain weave too. So if you separate them, then the weft thread will go, for instance, over the threaded end under the floating selvage and then over the floating selvage and under the threaded end it will just fit into the plain weave if you keep them together you'll have a doubled edge all the way along the side now neither of those is better or worse than the other it's just a choice if you prefer to have the doubled thread on the outside then go right ahead and do it but pay attention when you start with your tabby shuttle to see whether you are combining them or separating them when you go over or you go under. So when I, my tabby shuttle is on the left, so I'm going to step on my left tabby treadle and the threaded end is going up. So if I wanna separate them, I need to go between the threaded end that is up and the floating selvage. So I go over the floating selvage and this is the last threaded end and it's up. So I go over it here, over the floating selvage on this side too. And then on the way back, I go under both because now the last threaded ends are down and I want to go over them and under the floating selvage. So that is how I, so that is how I prefer to weave around floating selvage for overshot. Over in one direction, under in the other direction. So if you go in over, come out over. If you go in under, come out under. And the way I have it set up right now with under under to from right to left and over over from left to right which depends on my particular threading and my particular tie up that makes the floating selvage interlace opposite from the threaded ends right next to them so the plain weave just looks continuous all the way out to the edge